I've got one key swing tip that's not only gonna help you with your full swings, but it's gonna help you with your wedge game and your chipping. What's up everybody, my name is Darren. I am a professional golfer, a class A certified teaching professional through the PGA, and on other socials, my name is Darren's Wedge Work. So if you like the videos here, I've got more videos over there. But enough of that, I know what you're here for, you wanna get better at golf, so let's get started. One key problem I see a lot of people make is they lack extension and width in the golf swing, in their wedge motion, and in their chipping. Basically this means the distance between our hands or our chest, if it is really narrow, we don't have any width and we don't have extension in the arm. The reason we want to avoid being narrow in the backswing is because it causes a lot of problems. So if we don't rotate, use a lot of arms, really narrow backswing, this is going to encourage you to be really steep. And because of that, we're going to do some weird things. So you can be steep, figure out they want you want to shout the club out, and you're going to lean back. This is going to encourage you to just really chunk it. Or if you're doing the same thing, you don't want to chunk it, then you're going to lift up, probably blade it out there. So both things we're not looking for. They're not solid, not what you want. And extension and width is going to help us create one speed and two be a lot more efficient. The easiest way I can demonstrate this is with an elastic band. I'm gonna put this around my waist and then grip onto it as I grip the golf club. If I have extension in the swing, I extend my arms and I rotate, there's gonna be tension on this band. So it feels like I'm pulling away. If there is no extension and we're real narrow, there is no tension on this band. So we want to create that tension by keeping our arms extended, feeling this left arm nice and straight, and rotating back. If you don't have the elastic band, another drill you can do is done by Henrik Stenson. He is one of the best ball strikers in the world. If you've listened to pros hit a golf ball, it sounds different from the amateurs. And even his golf ball sounds different from the pros because he hits it that good. So what he does is, without a club, two hands, he pushes out as hard as he can and he rotates back, still feeling like he pushes out, and then rotates through, feeling like he pushes out. This gives him the feeling of that extension in the arms. Then he grabs a club, same thing. Feeling like he pushes out with the arms, rotate, rotate, hands stay in front of the chest, rotate, rotate. So you can start by doing this with really small swings, halfway back, maybe get the club parallel or the lead arm parallel and then same through. So feel extension, extension. So again, you really wanna focus on extension. Start with some small swings. You can do it without a ball and then with a ball. Feeling the arms extended, the hands are gonna stay in front of the chest and the chest is gonna to need to rotate. So slowly just do that and build up to longer and longer swings. Until you're to a full swing where you can feel like you have enough extension and you're rotating properly, it's gonna help you gain distance and be a lot more consistent. Onto the wedges, it's the same situation as the full swing. People get a little nervous, they don't feel comfortable over these, and it becomes more of a wrist and arm motion. Again, really narrow, and not a rotation of the chest and a little bit of the hips. This one, like the full swing, causes inconsistencies in your contact, but two, it makes it very difficult to judge distance. If we have to think about how much this is hinging, which is gonna create more speed. We gotta think about how much it is releasing, which is gonna affect how much loft there is. We're gonna have to worry about how far back it's going, how much you're accelerating into the golf ball. There's too many variables to judge distance control. But if we do that feeling of extension, then all we really have to think about is how far we take the club back. We don't have to worry about 
any of this hinging and releasing. It's just simply how far I took it back is gonna determine how far I hit the ball. And the biggest thing with this too is you wanna make sure your tempo is consistent. As long as the tempo is consistent, judging this distance control is gonna be way easier. So again, the only variable will be how far I take this club back to determine how far it goes. Now the last aspect we're gonna talk about is chipping. It's the same situation, same issue as the other thing. See how there's a common, common problem? Normally when people get nervous, it is wrist, arms bend, you get really narrow, you get, you get some of this motion, that was super chunky, you get some of this, blade it over the green, but if you want to get consistent at it, you got to again feel that extension. So hands stay in front of the chest, arms stay pretty extended, and we're just rotating back and through. Going to be way more consistent this way. And again, way less variables to judge how far you're hitting it. We're not thinking about how much this is releasing, how much this is bending, how much speed is there. We're just focusing on how far we turn back to determine how far it goes. All we're trying to do here is make the motion much simpler. Golf is hard. We know this, golf is very hard. So if we're gonna make the swing harder, you're just gonna have a really tough time. So we gotta keep it nice and simple. So always focus on the extension and just rotate it. That's everything I got for you today. Remember, you gotta feel extension through the golf swing. So you can do it either with the elastic band or with the Hendrick Stenson drill, pushing out, feel extension back and extension through. It'll help you improve full swing, wedge game, and short game. If you liked the video or you learned anything, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.